The Viperject is a cost-effective device that snaps right onto your existing syringe. There are no new procedures to learn and no disposable aspects. It produces a mild vibrating sensation that helps override the pain signals from the needle. The nerve endings associated with sensing temperature and pain are small, uninsulated, and have a relatively low single intensity. The nerve signals which respond to pressure and vibration are larger, insulated, and have a relatively high single intensity. When vibration and pain signals are combined, as in the case with using the Viberject, it is believed that the vibration message carried by the insulated nerves predominates over the pain message that is carried by the smaller, uninsulated nerves. The patient only experiences vibration. In this case, the patient's maxillary or upper teeth were removed. For purposes of demonstration, we will demonstrate the use of the physics forceps in extracting three upper anterior teeth. The physics forceps operate as a dental elevator rather than a forcep as the name implies. It uses first class lever mechanics. One handle is connected to the bumper which acts as the fulcrum. The other handle is connected to the beak which is positioned most often on the lingual or the palatal root of the tooth into the gingival sulcus. The bumper is positioned most often on the facial aspect at the mucogingival junction. Once the instrument is placed, no squeezing pressure is applied to the handles or to the tooth, where instead the handles are only rotated a few degrees using only wrist movement. You do not want to squeeze the handles. Again, this is not a forcep. Once you get resistance, the rotation is stopped and the instrument is simply held in place. During this period, the creep will build, releasing hyaluronic acid and breaking down the periodontal ligaments. If the tooth does not move during this initial holding period, this process should be continued where the handles are again rotated another few degrees. Once you get movement of the tooth, one to three millimeters, you want to stop using the physics forceps and use a pincer-like device as shown here to simply remove the socket, to remove the tooth from the socket, which completely preserves the bone used properly. Again, the instrument handles should not be squeezed and you use only an arc of rotation with your wrist until the tooth occlusively lifts up and out of the socket. At this point, you have achieved an atraumatic extraction site, which is a great foundation for grafting and implant placement. For more information on the physics forceps and the Viberject injection system, please visit goldendentalsolutions.com or call 877-987-2284.